Hey guys, um, just want to say, uh, well, I'm not going to say welcome back because, uh, this isn't going to be a history of Naruto video. I will do a history of Naruto video, uh, sometime tomorrow, uh, but here's the thing, uh, like I said, what I was going to do was if it, if my Naruto stuff carried over into this year, which it did, I was going to do the Power Ranger stuff while I did the Naruto stuff. So, this is going to be a, a history of a Power Ranger video. I'm only going to do one video for Power Rangers this week. Uh, which is just going to be like the character bio video. And, um... And then sometime tomorrow I'll upload the next one for the History of Naruto series, so don't worry, I'll, I'll have videos for both series up. What I'll do is I'll alternate, like once a week on the weekends I'll do Naruto, on the other weekend I'll do Power Rangers. I just figured for this week I'd do one uh, Power Ranger video and one Naruto video because... Uh, the, like I said, the first video of every new series I do is going to have to be a char character bio video. So, because of the fact that every first video for a new series is going to have to be a character bio, I'm going to do one Power Ranger video today, and then I'll do the one Naruto video sometime tomorrow, and then I'll do the next two Naruto videos afterward next week oh yeah and I should also mention this ahead of time I just finished playing Quantum Break so maybe in between like in between the seasons of the Naruto stuff whenever I finish the first video set of videos for the first season, um, I'll show you guys my achievements that I got for the, uh, Quantum Break game as a review kind of thing. Anyway, but like I said at the beginning of this video, the reason why I am doing this, the Power Rangers stuff, while I'm doing the Naruto stuff, is because... Uh, this year, uh, two months from now, there will be a Power Ranger movie that'll be released in the theaters. So, I figured, if, like I said, if the Naruto stuff carried into this year, which it did, I would do the Power Ranger stuff while I'm doing the Naruto stuff, and... Also, I'm just going to mention this one more time. It's because of the movie why I'm doing the Power Rangers stuff in the first place. Uh, I just figured, you know, in honor of that movie coming out in, in March of this year, figured why not do the Power Rangers stuff for my YouTube channel. Uh, now, this is going to be a character bio video. And by character bio, I just mean the character bio on the five main characters and the uh like the main protagonists and the main antagonists because there's two different sets of characters so this is going to be sort of a long video um it's sort of going to be a long video but it, I'm not going to try to make it too long but just just as a quick disclaimer though, um, not all of the episodes I'm going to do one at a time. Uh, when I get to, if I get to a segment in the Naruto, in the Power Rangers series where it's a more than a two or three part episode, what I'll do is I'll try to make one long video condense all the parts of those ones into it. Now the reason why I said that is because there's a five part episode in season one of Power Rangers so I figure I should do one long video 
to condense it into one long video because if I did one episode at a time with a five part episode that would take me way too long. So that's what I'm going to do is when I get to a five or four part episode, I'm going to try to condense the videos into one video. And by one video, I don't mean a separate video for each one. I mean like a talking about all the parts of the videos mixed into one. That's what I mean, in the same video. I just thought I'd get that out of the way there. I'm just gonna have to do that because if I did a, two videos on separate days with, with that, I, I wouldn't be able to get through the first season of Power Rangers. Now, this, like I said, this is gonna be a character bio video on both the protagonist and the antagonists, as well as uh, two side characters that show up. But, uh, first I'm gonna talk about, but first I just wanna mention something. Like I said, um, it's gonna take me a while to get through the first season of Power Ranger videos. It's mostly, it's because of the five part episode. There's a five part episode in season one of Power Rangers, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make one long video for that. I just thought I'd get that out of the way there. And by one long video, I mean like maybe a super long, like maybe a 40 or 50 minute video so I can cover all five parts. So... But that's only going to be for any multi-part episode that's above two or three. If it's a two or three part video, I'll do them separately. But if, but if it's a five part episode like in the Green with Evil five parter in season one, I'm going to condense it into long, one long video for you guys. I just figure that's the simplest way to do it. Anyway. Now getting back into it, this is History of Power Rangers, uh, Season 1, Episode 1, but this isn't really an episode of the, of the series, it's, it's going to be a character bio on the protagonist and antagonist. I'm going to start with the protagonist for now, and then I'll get into the antagonists and and then that'll probably be it for this video, guys. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Oh, man, I, oh, I almost forgot. Since two of the protagonists, like two of the antagonists of the series, like side-wise, minion-wise, since they sort of resemble two other characters, I'm also going to have to talk about two other human characters that will show up for this series. I just, I thought I'd get that out of the way. But first I'm going to talk about uh, Jason Lee Scott, who in the Power Rangers series is played by Austin St. John. He's the original Red Ranger. Now, what I mean by original, he's the Red Ranger for the entire first season through the first half of the second season. I say first half because I count, by first half I mean after the power transfer two-parter. I, I, I'm, I'm getting off topic there, I just wanted to explain about that. Now he's sort of the Red Ranger, so which is sort of the leader of the group. And basically, when they, when they first get chosen to be Power Rangers, he's the one that decides that they should do it, uh, because the wizard, uh, Zordon, that's the wizard that drafted them to protect their planet, uh, uh, I'll explain more about Zordon after I finish talking about the five main protagonists, 
Well, technically, there's about s there's six human protagonists, but the sixth one doesn't show up till later in the five-part episode "Greeting with the Evil." So I don't, I I won't explain about that until afterward. Anyway, uh, Jason. Like I said, he's sort of the leader because the Red Ranger in the Power Rangers series is the leader of the group. Like, he's the leader of his team of Rangers. And, well, at least for the first half of it. Like, for the first, like, the entire first season of Mighty Morphin and the first half of season two of Mighty Morphin. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Anyway, um, his uh, main uh, power weapon is known as the Power Sword, which is basically, it's the key to the rest of the power weapon's abilities, and, um, now I'm going to explain about the Ranger Colors before I continue with the characters. There's five Ranger Colors, but there becomes a sixth Ranger Color, but that won't show up until the Green with Evil 5 part episode, which I will make into one long video for you guys just to simplify it. Uh, there are red, blue, black, yellow, and pink. And Jason, as well as the Black Rangers, Zack. Now, now that I've gotten into the Black Rangers, Zack, I just want to mention something. Jason and Zack in the Power Rangers series uh, have something in common, which is uh, it's the fact that they both study a form of martial arts. Um, in but in Zack's case, it's a form of uh, martial arts that combines uh, dance music with martial arts called, I think it's called Hip-Hop Cheeto, which is kind of <laughs> awkward, but <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to get into there a little bit about Zack's character because he also does a form of martial arts, which is that Hip-Hop Cheeto thing I explained. And now getting back into Jason, um, with Jason's character, like I said, he's the leader of the group, and he's the Red Ranger, which in the first season, the Red Ranger's sword is the Tyrann Zord is the Tyrannosaurus, which is the T-Rex dinosaur, and the Megazord has two modes, it has a tank mode and a, um, mode and a actual Megazord mode. I, I, I just thought I'd mention that about the Megazord. Anyway, um, when they, like I said, when they first get drafted uh, by Zordon to be the protectors of their planet from uh, the antagonist, I won't explain about the antagonist until later on when I get to, after I do the protagonist segment of the character bio. Um, so, Zordon, which is the, sorry, Zordon, which is the wizard that basically, I guess you could kind of consider it, drafts them, like chooses them to protect their planet. Uh, okay, he's the one that's ready to do it, like, <laughs> and at first, like, he's the one who's ready to do it of those five, <laughs> and when they're walking out of the command center, he, he tries to convince the others to change their minds about doing it and then basically he 
He also uh, basically has a bit of a, uh, like I said, he also is the karate teacher at the youth center, like which is the like the gym for the TV series, the Angel Grove Youth Center Gym and Juice Bar. Anyway, um, getting back into what I was saying earlier, um. Now, before I continue with Jason's character, and before I get to the rest of the characters, I just want to mention something about how they uh, morph, like, like in the first season, like, the first two seasons, I should technically say. Uh, in the first two seasons of the Power Rangers series, they morph by saying the names of their Zords. And, and that, that's basically how they morph. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. I say the first two seasons because later on in season three, like in the early segment of season three, um, they, which is new and new characters. So, because, like I said, uh, Jason's Three of the main characters from this first season will only last for this season and um, the like the first half of the second season. I just thought I'd get that out of the way there. And okay, that based uh, the that basically covers uh, Jason's character now. I'm going to talk about the, well, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about um, the order that Zordon uh, announced them as the Rangers and gave them their Zords. So now I'm going to talk about Kimberly's character. I think it was Kimberly that came, actually, yeah. If I remember correctly, it was Zach that came next. So I'll talk about Zach next, and then after that, I'll do. Billy, Trini, and Kimberly, and then I'll also talk about the antagonists of the series. And then that'll be it for this video, guys. Uh, Anyway, now I'm getting into uh, Zach's character. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer here. This is gonna. I, sorry. Um, this is gonna sound kind of awkward, but he's the Zach is the Black Ranger of the group, and in the cartoon, he's. Uh, African, so I don't want to. Wait, wait, it's kind of. Oops. I just wanted to get any little thing there out of the way about that. I'm sorry if it sounded like that. Anyway, uh, like I said with Zach's character, he teaches a different form of uh, martial arts. It's called. Hip hop uh, keto, which is kind of funny. It's basically martial arts mixed with hip hop dance moves. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that that is that that I'm sorry, but that's really really funny in a way because it, it mixes martial arts with dancing and <laughs> oh, it's a little funny. If you guys. Have Netflix, you'll understand what I mean. I'm pretty sure you guys have Netflix and stuff. So if you watch the series, you'll see what I mean. And, um, and getting into it again with Zack's character, he also has a crush on this girl named Angela, which at certain points in the series, his uh, crush on her can make him a, 
well, I'm not going to say it like that, but like, just a little, I'm not going to say crazy, but it makes them act irrational, which kind of makes sense, because when you're in love, sometimes you do irrational things. And I'll provide an example of that. It's in episode 60 of Power Rangers. Um, he buys these uh, pearl earrings that are actually uh, the antagonist. It's uh, per cursed pearls of stillness. Uh, I'm just, I wanted to get that out of the way there before I continued. Um, Anyway, um, oh, before I continue though, I, I also, I guess I should explain about what their weapons are, so I'm going to head back to Jason here just for a quick second. Um, Jason's, uh, weapon that he uses is the power sword, which is basically the key to the other Power Rangers weapons. So, I... I just thought it would be easier to do it that way to explain about it. Both them and the weapons they use in their ranger colors. I, I started with Jason's character first uh, because for the Power Rangers series, um, the Red Ranger is the most, uh, for most of them, he's the most important ranger. He's like the leader of the group. So I figured I'd start with that one and then go with the others. And getting back into Zack's character, just his weapon is uh, known as the Power Axe, which is uh, lightning quick and uh, hard as diamonds. And now, getting into it again with Zack's character, there are a few episodes, as I stated before, uh, where he acts a little loopy, but it's because he has his crush on this girl. So, um, I'll explain about that later when I get to the episodes that feature it. Anyway, uh, basically, um, and that's, like I said, his weapon is known as the Power Axe, and, and that's basically gonna cover it. I think I covered as much about Zack as I could. So now I'm going to talk about uh, Trini's character. She's the Yellow Ranger for this series, at, at least for the first season and like the first half of the second season because I'm not going to give too much away about the second season because I want to save that for when I get to it. So, um... I'm not going to give too much away for you guys about the second season, uh, but I will explain to you about this. For the entire first season of the series, uh, she is, um, she basically is used, uh, to explain, uh, when Billy talks with, like, scientific and stuff like that, which kind of makes sense, because, well... Anyway, um, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> and now that I mentioned Billy's character when I talked about training, I'm going to mention about Billy next. Now, Billy is, uh, known, is the Blue Ranger of the Power Rangers series. His, oh, before I continue with Billy, I just want to mention... Uh, Zack and Trini's, uh, Zords are known as the Mastodon, which is, like, the woolly mammoth, and Zack's is the Mastodon, which, like I said, is based off the woolly mammoth creature, and Trini's is based, is the saber-toothed tiger. I just, I thought I'd mention that. Oh, and... Now that I've also mentioned Trini, I should also mention to you guys, her power weapon is known as the Power Daggers. And, now getting back into it with Billy, um, 
Billy is sort of the brains of the group, and in the first season of the original series, Trini basically helps the character, the rest of them, like Jason, Zach, and another female character. I'll explain about the other one when I get to her. She basically helps them out by uh, explaining what Billy's saying in his scientific ways in a common sense, which which makes sense. And Billy does uh, come up with a useful device um, that is used for uh, all of the Power Rangers series, like the first couple in the 90s, like just the 93 to 98 series. Now that I've mentioned the later 91s, the 97 Power Rangers series is the one that's going to take me the longest out of the single series seasons of Power Rangers. But it's not because of how many episodes there are. The 97 Power Rangers series technically only has 45 episodes, but the first three of those 45 take place after the events of a special movie. So what I'm going to have to do is before I start talking about that series, I'm going to have to uh, just do a little review for the movie for YouTube purposes. I just, I thought I'd get that out of the way there. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up about that. <sighs> anyway, um... And another unintentionally, and like I said, Billy does come up with some uh, pretty useful inventions, like the communicators, which are used in the series to uh, teleport them to the command center and stuff. But that's not till episode two which is the episode after the one I'm going to be talking about uh, next week. So, um, I don't want to give too much away about the actual episodes. So I just thought I'd mention that. And now, I'm going to talk about the last of the five main characters, Ranger Wise, and then I'm going to, um, talk about these two side characters that show up and then I'm going to talk about the antagonists and that's going to be it for this video. Uh, the last of the five protagonists is um, another female. She's the Pink Ranger member of the group, uh, Kimberly Hart. Because if I remember correctly, I think Jason's full name is Jason Lee Scott, Zach's is Zach Taylor, Trini's is Trini Kwan, and Billy's is Billy Cranston. So I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Now, uh, she is the pink ranger for their group, and her main primary weapon is known as the Power Bow, which is sort of a long range weapon that can shoot arrows and stuff. And now that I've mentioned the last of the five power weapons, I just want to mention something. When all of the weapons are combined together, they form a weapon known as the Power Blaster. So, I, I just thought since I mentioned the last of the five, I, I thought I should mention what they combine into. And her zord is known as the uh, Pterodactyl Dinosaur. Which, for the original series, is the chest part of the Megazord. Like, the T-Rex is the head, the Mastodon is the both arms, the Sabertooth Tiger and Triceratops are the legs, and, like I said, the Pterodactyl is the chest part. Now, she w does have this crush on another ranger that will be introduced in the Green with Evil 5 part episode, but I want to save that for when I actually get to that uh, uh, episode. 
that five part episode, which as I stated, I'm gonna probably make it a long video because if I don't do it that way, um, <laughs> that's gonna take me way, way too long. So, I'm sorry if this video seems to be getting a little long too, guys. I apologize. I, anyway. Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to talk about the two side characters next. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but there are these two other human side characters that show up in on the Earth segment of the series. Now, the reason why I'm going to have to talk about them next is because the antagonist of the first two seasons um, has her his and her own version of them. Well, but first I'm going to talk about the two side human characters first before I actually start talking about the antagonists and and then that'll be the end of the video. Uh, the first of these two and these two side characters is Fargus uh, Bulkmeyer, aka Bulk, and Eugene Skolovich, aka Skull. Now they're sort of the sort of the bad boys of of the uh, Angel Going High School in the series, and they uh, last for the entire Mighty Morphin segment until Power Rangers in Space. Now the reason why I say till Power Rangers in Space is because well, actually only one of them lasts till in space. Uh, but the other one is in the first of what I like to call the post sword on era of Power Rangers. Now, what I mean by that, Bulk is in the first of the post sword on era of Power Rangers, but Skull isn't except for one episode. I just thought I'd mention that. Just thought I'd mention that anyway, and. They sort of sometimes they sort of they get in the TV series they're the school bullies and stuff. And if you have Netflix, you'll understand what I mean. I, anyway, and they do have their moments in later series seasons, like um, in season two of the original Power Rangers series. Uh, they actually try to find out who the Power Rangers are, and in season three, they join the of the Mighty Morphin series. They join they join the Junior Police Patrol. Oh, oh my God! Uh, sorry, I'm just I just thought I'd mention what what happens with those two since they were sort of a little bit of a, a, important characters in a comedic way. I mean. Okay, that's going to do it for the main, uh, protagonists. Now I'm going to talk about the antagonists of the series, and that's going to, for the first season, and that's going to end this video, and I'll have the actual first video for the Naruto stuff up sometime, maybe sometime tomorrow or something. Okay, now the first of the main antagonists I'm going to talk about is uh, Rita Repulsa. Now she's sort of the main antagonist at, at least for the first season. Like for the entire first season she's the main antagonist. And this is going to sound kind of ironic, but the very first episode of of Power Rangers is known as Day of the Dumpster. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just have to laugh about that. Cause <laughs> the reason why it's called that, because in the first episode, she and her uh, minions, they're imprisoned in a canister-based object on the moon, which is shaped like a dumpster. And apparently, in that canister, they've remained in the series for 10,000 years. That is until, um, these two, uh, astronauts from Earth 
just accidentally discover uh, their uh, canister based object they're imprisoned in and release them. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. I just I just gotta laugh about that because it's kind of funny. And most of the monsters she sends down are monsters she has a little dog-like uh, creature named Finster to create. And and there's also the foot soldiers. I should technically say the foot soldiers for the first season and the second season. Because in the third season, there are new foot soldiers. They're called the Putty Patrol. And they're basically creatures that are made out of clay and stuff. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, because putty is a type of clay, really. <laughs> in a way, it can be a type of clay. And now, I'm going to also get into... Now, basically, how Finster creates his putties and the monsters, and he puts the monsters and the putties inside a machine called the Monstermatic, <laughs> and they, um, get pumped through the machine, and then they come out this circular end, they come out this circular end on the, on the machine, and, and that's basically how they're, his, how Rita's monsters are created, and now that I mentioned it about Rita, the way she makes her monsters grow is she uses her magic wand in the series. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Anyway, um, now I'm gonna talk about, oh, now I'm gonna talk about the, uh, Rita equivalent of Balkan Skull's characters. Uh, they're called Squat and Babu. Squad is the one that looks like a like a big fat blueberry man and Babu is the one that looks like a like a um uh like a giant uh winged monkey like a giant like not a giant monkey but like a Oh, like a mixed, like he's a black creature that sort of looks like a monkey because his name is Babu and a baboon is a type of primate. And so you get what I mean about that. And like I said, they are Rita's equivalent of Balkan Skull because if you think about it like that. Anyway, um, continuing with... They do have their moments where they, um, they're, in one episode in particular, in episode 22, uh, they create their own monster to impress Rita, and it works to a certain point until the monster loses. <laughs> oh my god. And the monster they make is basically this turtle creature. Anyway, but like I said, they're her equivalent of Bulk and Skull. Anyway, now I'm going to get into the last of the five antagonists who is sort of a warrior character for both the antagonist of the first season of this series and the antagonist of the second season. His name is Goldar, and he's basically, he's basically a, a, a blue monkey creature, in, uh, like a blue gorilla in a gold armor. Now, in the first episode, this is what I find awkward. In the first episode of the original series, he has his wings, and he also has this sword, but, um, but... At the end of the first episode, like in the rest of the episodes of the first season that I saw, he doesn't have his wings anymore. I think that's probably because Rita took them away from him uh, because of the fact that he failed in the first battle. So that's just my 
but that's my opinion of it. And now that I've mentioned Goldar, I just want to mention something very quickly about him. Um, in the uh, Power Rangers series, like for the Mighty Morphin segment, first season and second season of the series, he sort of has a rivalry with the sixth Ranger character, who I'll explain about later when I get to the Green with Evil 5 part episode. So, I'll explain about that later, guys. Anyway. Now, before I end this video, I just want to mention about how Rita makes her monsters grow, and that's going to probably end the video for now, and then I'll... Probably upload the second Naruto video afterward, and then every week from now on, I'm going to alternate between which two videos I upload. Uh, now, the... The last of the um, main antagonists I'm going to talk about is a dog-like creature. He's called... Finster, and he basically is how Rita, actually I think I explained about him, but I'll explain about him again. He's a dog-like creature that is the one that creates Rita's monsters, and by creates them, I mean he puts them in this machine called the Monstermatic, and then they come out the other end, like the tube, they go through the tube and out the circular end of it. And, and now I'm going to just explain about how Rita makes her monsters go. She basically, she uses her magic wand and she throws it to the earth and then it lands on the ground and then it sends a pulse wave out which will then cause her monsters to grow. Now, I'm also going to explain this. There is a side antagonist that later joins... Uh, Rita, Goldar, Finster, Squat, and Babu, but it's not until part 3 of the Green with Evil 5 part or so. I'll wait until I get to the Green with Evil 5 part episode to explain about that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. So if you liked it, so if you liked it, <sighs> If you like this video on YouTube, just please give it the real best you guys can, and I'll see you guys next, uh, sometime, uh, next week for the next Power Ranger video, and until tomorrow for the Naruto stuff, uh, like I'm, this is gonna be my sign off for this series, may the power protect you always.